Hello everybody, it's Finny one here. Today, uh, after this intro, I'm going to add content to it that happened five months ago. I'm going to put a cut after it, and then I'm going to resume that same gameplay today to finish it up. So, I hope that you all enjoy it. Hello everybody, this is Finnewin, and here we are, back with Europa Universalist 4, playing as Hamburg, going for the Bundiku achievement. And, uh, so far, I am just going to continue on the game here. I think, at this point, four years for Pomerania. Ooh, oh, oh. I am getting called into a war. Brandenburg has declared on Saxony. It's fighting Saxony, Pomerania, Bohemia. Brandenburg is fighting... I mean, well... Saxony is fighting Brandenburg, Wurzburg, and Augsburg. Bohemia is not the Emperor anymore, so I don't have to worry about him calling in a bunch of dudes. Um, I mean, I don't want to take the prestige hit. I don't want to get the negative um, diplomatic reputation. So let's uh, jump in and let's stack wipe uh, Saxony's army. If I can catch it. So he's heading to... Where is he heading? Ah. Ooh, wait a second. I did not realize that Pomerania was going to be in this. Ah. Oh, yep, screw that. I'm going to see if she slams first. catch you? Probably not. Let me take these. Let me think here. my treasure let me think here what would be a good replacement uh, I guess I'm just gonna go for whatever one I have because I don't have that much of an income for reasons am I actually trading like I should be yeah so all right so I got that province under my belt Let's, um... Ah! I really wish I... Hit the, um... Click on these two provinces so that I could have gotten the... The... That one modifier that saying, I really want that, please. Um... I don't want to lose mercantilism necessarily. I don't mind losing a little bit of difficult points. Just because I'm head in that. And we're fighting Bohemian re rebels. For reasons I don't know. Uh, let's go take care of Bohemia's army down here. Alright. Uh, let's pull that back from Muscovy. Alright, so Florian Hakurhan has that infantry combat ability, which is really nice. Take care of that. Let's do a quick shift consolidate. So I can fight with full strength troops. Why did my vassal pull away from that? So a good modifier or a slightly better good modifier, but the chance of it. I'm just going to do the, the normal one. Why risk it? Now Muscovy and I are at max relations. Can I ally him? I'm just not looking strong for him. He's 
pirating us, which is causing us to have negative relations. Yeah, I'm going for this. Alright, so let's do a quick shift consolidate. Let's leave the cannon there. Let's pull out the weak infantry. And I think this is just a level 1 fort, so I don't necessarily need to leave everyone in the grandma there. So let's pull everybody back here. December 1st, December 2nd, so I'll get there faster, faster if I came from Griswold if I have to reinforce for any reasons. And I do have a hefty amount of the participation, so I should expect to get some land. <laughs> Hopefully. Foreign talent. I could gain professionalism, which will help manpower, because I'm basically just going to dump my professionalism into slackening the recruiting standards don't necessarily care about the relations with Denmark since we're rivals so I don't want to lose all that money yeah let's do it I gave myself the option to get more troops that's what uh, I'm going for here Bramberg you need to get out of here I mean, I guess he is helping with the siege with the extra cannon there. <laughs> uh, should I allow Brandenburg to attack these provinces? I think I'm just going to leave that as it is. So I feel like Bohemia is, is the brunt of this here. Bohemian ally to Poland. Yeah. And what is Poland friends with? Denmark, England, and Bohemia. So, I mean, maybe there's a chance that um, Bohemia might lose his relationship with Poland if Brandenburg breaks their friendship, which could hopefully lead me into a. Ah, uh, fighting Denmark and Poland, that's just too much. Um. All right, so let's move this on to that province. And let's have some people behind to support when necessary. I am being pretty close to the cap here for dip. So I should keep my eye on that. So I got four going in, let's send in three more. So that I'm guaranteed to see BCG every month, even with the disease tick. Oh, are you kidding me? So what does that set reset my truce to? To 21. Ah. All right, I need to uh, definitely do that. Just saying that these are my lands. These are ones I want. I mean, I don't necessarily need Ansa Brock, do I? I mean, I guess it would help if I had it, but not necessarily gunning for it. Augsburg's actually packing a lot of troops for. Yeah. Since you didn't give me any provinces, Brandenburg, I'm not going to let you get any so easily. Honestly, I'm not too crazy about winning this war. I'll pull my weight so I get more ducats of prestige, I guess. I think out of this uh, whole thing, the biggest uh, letdown was just not... Asking for those provinces to be mine. 
but let's just use up some of my um, diplomatic points here before I forget. Not close to 10 anywhere. I think I was going to use Fismar. Or was it, so it's going to be either, it's going to be one of these to develop myself so that I can get exploration. Not exploration, the institution for colonialism, that's what I meant to say. That word. <clears throat> Preferably, I would like for these to be prosperous. Where's Vizmar? Vizmar's right here. The only province I have that is prosperous right now is Dith Martian. That's just because I don't think anyone's able to go that north. But uh, hold on one second. Transition and epic beer growth! <sighs> Alright, here we are. Back at it again with Hamburg. Five months later. And I just took a moment to kind of look around and get my bearings back again. And it just seems like uh, I'm pretty much in this war only because I'm helping out Brandenburg to get some more prestige and some more cash. So, actually, I'm going to do one quick thing here. Okay. I just upped the volume a little bit. So, I am still looking forward to get to a... Uh, the alliance with this guy, because he's big and strong, and I need a big strong friend to help me with big strong things. I do have enough to fabricate on this, because I do plan on eating him up right away. So, so like I said before, I'm just going to chill on this war. I'm not really going to participate that much at this point. Oh, and I do have a lot of Diplo points, and I could work down my war exhaustion. Alright, so France is maxed up again. I think I'm making a big negative malice because I did look over my ruler. It's Dietz. He has that uh, babbling buffoon modifier. Oh yeah, I forgot to enact this right here. So I think the once the election comes around, he is going to go bye-bye. So let me think. Yeah, let's just keep on rolling. Double check this again. I do need to get that fabrication going as well, so. I mean, at this point, we're pretty much overwhelming them, so if they can't win with with me, without me, then these guys are going to be bad allies anyways. Alright, so I do have this. I'm honestly... Kind of in a sense trying to keep Brandenburg from getting too big himself. Because, let me see. He does have some cow provinces I w in which I would want to have. Okay, that's why I wanted this province because it's got a coup. So that's what my achievement is is to basically trade in both gyms and livestock. So. I guess I could prevent Brandenburg from getting any bigger, so let's take care of that. He might take that province, but... Serbia's got a new leader. Let's take advantage of this thing. Let's improve... Oh yeah, speaking of improved relations... Let's set this to... Establish communities. And I think I should have three of these... Let's do um, that one. And who do you affect? Yeah, let's just let's do them all. Because I wanted to lower aggressive expansion as much as I can. So that I can take up as much as I can later on. Prestige. So I can make money. Because I did change my edict of my capital too, so that I can get more trade power from that. 
Augsburg's on our side, right? Yeah, he's uh, he's in a bad spot. You know what? I'm gonna help him out. This might be a bad idea, but I did as much as I can over here. Kosak aggression. Let me take care of this first. More unrest, more money, basically. Um, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's get more prestige. Awesome. What is Bohemia thinking? Is he going to come down and help? It doesn't seem like it. So, oh, yep, he is turning around. He is heading this way. So let's head into the mountains. Oh, that happened. All right, so here we have Saxony will cede a province to Warsburg. Bohemia will cede a province to Brandenburg. And there's money. Prestige. Got lots of favors. All right, let's get you back up here, and let's plan on, let's see who we can attack next. I do have enough of this, let's pull this back. Let's see, Austria will help, which sucks, which reminds me, I should, oof. That unlawful territory is not looking good, but I should be improving relations with him so I can take provinces without angering him and everybody else too much. How's clone looking? I could fight him without Austria intervening. I'm quite concerned, not concerned, but curious as to why. He wouldn't intervene for one of his electors that's voting for him. That's okay. Yeah. So just kind of get in the back of the swing of this. Um, this is version 1.24.1. And I think the... Um, like the most updated version right now is like 1.25 or 1.26. I forget... So I am rolled back a little bit. This is going to be on March. It's all in March. So if anyone's just kind of like curious as far as what version this is, I am rolled back a bit. And like the major difference you would see in between those two is that of course, the mission system here, it's the old one. The new one, you have like a tree, and it looks pretty cool. All right. I'm just kind of scanning through stuff again real quick. Because so I do have that one mission where I should integrate on halt. But I think I'm going to hold back on that, mainly because... Should I increase autonomy? Yeah, let's do it. And let's put these guys about right there so they can finish off. Because the more maintenance you give these guys, the more unrest they can put down. A maximum of negative five with a 20 stack. So that should start bringing that down. I am culture converting Geldrin because I think if I remember, if it's Dutch culture, then you'll start getting those Dutch revolts when that, um, I guess, disaster starts happening. So, best to take care of that now. And this is a little different too because in the updated patch, they have these all as one button instead, so you don't have to like just go through and. I guess just to simplify things. Okay.
So here I am, as I mentioned before, I'm going to switch this guy out, even though he is at a good age. Um, he's just not fitting with his trait right there, it's not really liking that. I do have a little bit of this to fill out still, even though I am behind in um, admin tech. So... Yeah, let's go with another bureaucrat. And hopefully he has a good trait. Let's find out. Better have a good trait. Idea cuss minus 5%. Alright, I like that. That's pretty good. Right on. Alright, so... France. How are we looking now? Still the same plot. Blah, 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 plot. Place where... There is that... Rivalry that's going on between me and some of his people that he's allied to. Honestly, Provence has been making. He's integrated his personal union. I think I am going to spend the dipple points and remove him as a rival. So that can open up to me. I can actually rival Denmark. But the sad thing is, I would totally lose a fight if I actually fought him. Mainly because Poland will help him. Sweden is still not feeling rebellious, or he's just not rebellious enough. It would be nice if I did break up the Denmark the Kalmar Union up here so that I can swoop in and start Ooh. and start uh, taking those provinces up there which will feed into my trade node make me a stronger power up there do I have a dip rep guy I mean other than that what else can I prove to make him be my friend he has too many relations. I mean, I can remove my rivalry with Scotland. If I did that, that would definitely solidify my friendship with him. So, you know what? Let's just do that. I have plenty of dip points. I'm not concerned about that. Yes. Yeah. Big boy France is my friend. It's on now. But I do need to find new rivals, though. I mean, Denmark's already hating me, so I might as well do that. Let's embargo him. And I guess... I mean, I might as well hit up on Cologne, just because... He has one province that you have a claim on. Even though I don't really need it. But just someone to give me power projection, basically. Truces. Utrecht. I don't think I'm gonna. He is ally to Austria, so that's not gonna be a person I'm gonna attack anytime soon. Bremen will be protected by Austria. Lubeck I don't have a claim on, so Austria will protect him anyways. Pomerania. Cologne will help him. That's interesting. But I won't be able to attack him for another six years unless I have a truce break, which is a bad idea. Seeing that my AE is still pretty up there with a lot of people. I can't go belligerent Pomerania either. Let's get friendly with Sweden. So I have a good idea that if I could join him in an independence war, he might feel inclined to give me some of Denmark's provinces once he actually beats him up. So let's make that a thing. 
All right, so Dutch is out. Westphalia is in. Yeah, I guess that is my culture group too, so. My primary culture? Yeah. Yeah, since I am making money, let's work on making more money. Austria broke their alliance with Liege, Provence broke their alliance with France. Interesting. But, I mean, it's not like I could do anything to Provence anyways. Army organizer is dead, we could get a discipline guy, but I'm stick with fort defense. I probably could do something better with this guy. Mm. Yeah, there's only 9,000 peasants. This is up in Lundberg. Yeah, let's take advantage of that so I can make the nobility happy. Going to fight some peasants. Bam. Bam. Yeah. All right. All right, so let's remove that other embargo. Nice. I finally got that event. So that'll get rid of the rest of the inflation. Get stability. Have not been checking that up. So without that stability, I can't get prosperity. And I think I, if I remember correctly, I am trying to get colonialism up here. Because it's only down there. So. so let's start fabricating claims on Denmark. Start getting friendly with Sweden. Loyal attitude. I feel like it's going to happen sometime soon that he's going to start feeling rebellious. Or if it already happened, it's just a shame that it's low. I should have looked at who France dislikes. So he might pull me into a fight with Austria if Austria is ever looking weak. I don't necessarily want to fight Austria. Or do I? He does have a cow province that I would like to have. And... I mean, that's about it, honestly. I mean, there's Crane, but I don't think I'll be all the way down there. Well, you have an ally to the Papal State. Hmm. I guess just that's just so I can take advantage of these perks before I I do plan on going Protestant, so Oh yeah, let's get that going in Danzig. Do we have plenty of ships? Five over the limit, and with that being a thing, over force limit, I am paying 0.54 ducats more. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I mean, I got France as a friend, so France and Brandenburg. Papal State, I probably should. Oh, there we go. Austria has a personal union over Hungary now. Who's contesting it? Castile is contesting it. That's interesting. Because he's got Aragon and Naples. So he's fighting Austria, Hungary, Savoy, Munster, Utrecht, Saxony, and Salzburg. And he is fighting the Castilian, the Iberian Triumphant. Well, the Iberian and it's Neapolitan, you know what I'm trying to say. Basically, Castile, his little PUs versus Austria and his new PU and friends. 
I think Castile's going to get beat up over that. Oh yeah, since that unrest is down, I might as well bring my maintenance back down with it too. No point to spend on troops if I am not... Oh, and here we have the Protestant Reformation. Can I convert right now? I surely can. Alright, so... I'm pretty sure I'm going to do this right here. But... Before I do that, I'm going to put a pause right here into this episode. So if anything, if uh, y'all are liking what you're seeing, just comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.